Hello again everyone and welcome back to the Handicap Golf channel. Uh, we're going to continue today with our best golf courses of the Golf Club 2019 and today we're heading over to the UK and hitting up the Brabazon course at the Belfry. So we're going to select this handicap rated course and like usual I'm going to put the green speed on very slow and the green firmness on very soft just to make it a little bit easier for myself and not to demoralise my confidence. And we're going to go off the red tees like we usually do uh, because I've only got limited space in my golf simulator and 6iron is the biggest club that I can hit. So we're starting out on the 8th here at the Brabazon. Um, I'm going to go through the 8th, 9th and 10th holes um, because they're some of the prettiest on the course to be fair. Uh, and as you can see over there on the left hand side of the screen, that is me playing this hole in real life. Um, I've got a few, no I've not, I've got a couple of vlogs at the Belfry playing this course over on my channel so feel free to go over and have a watch of those if you want to see what the course is like in real life. And on the sim, took my 6 iron. Looking pretty good. And nice little shot, good solid contact down the middle of the fairway and I don't want that one back. To the pin. Now yeah I was talking about some of the prettiest holes on the course, this is an amazing little approach. Um, I'm not quite long enough to carry that green, sorry, to carry that stream that's in front of the green. So it's just a layup for me on the sim as it was in real life. And it was a successful layup in real life, but on the simulator, I nearly take out my ceiling in the room. I don't know if this has enough. And decide to hook it straight into the water. Everyone ends up here, you know, now and then, but, um, you know, from here. I've got a massive love-hate relationship with this golf course. I absolutely love it. It is an amazing place to play golf, but it has torn me a new one each time that I've played it. I think when I was playing off a 21 handicap, uh, I ended up shooting 109, something like that, 111. And I shot the exact same score a year later when I was playing off an 11 handicap. Nice. So yeah, it's tricky. You have to be really straight when you're playing it in real life. Uh, as you can see, par putt just sliding by, trickling in a bogey putt. Uh, over on the sim, it was a much longer bogey putt. Uh, I was just trying to dribble it down there, get it within that six feet gimme range so I could come away with a double at best. Which I didn't quite get it into that six feet gimme range, but nice little putt. Sinks it. Come away with a double, but not a very good start to this three hole vlog. Now, this ninth hole at the Belfry is somewhat special. It's a long par four, um, and it's just an amazing approach into the green. In real life, I took a driver, uh, obviously, I can't swing Great that in the sim room. Hit a very good drive, to be fair. Uh, on the sim, just taking a six iron, trying to get it down the fairway, but managed to pop it in that heavy stuff. Not ideal. Uh, it's a funny story actually, with my approach in real life, um, you should see where this ball ends up, I'll show you in a moment. Um, but I thought I'd go for it, gamble with the 5 iron, try and hit that green, pulled it a little bit to the left. Uh, and like I say, you'll see where that ended up in a minute. Could be in the rough here. So my camera in the sim room ended up on the floor, and this ball ended up in the heavy rough. So here we go, check this out. This is where my second shot ended up directly behind a tree. So I had to take a penalty drop there, chip it onto the green. And on the sim, my third shot in was actually a very good one. Uh, I had a little bit further out than I did in real life. But I hit a very good shot. And it almost crept into that gimme range for par. Now then, this love-hate relationship with the brothers on. A three port after a penalty drop, coming away with a triple bogey in real life. My head had completely gone at that point. I was a little bit more successful on the sim, I had about a six or seven footer for a par that just slid by. Oh. Took a gimme for a bogey, which is not bad, but three over after two holes on this three course vlog is not very good. And uh, hole number 10 coming up here. Now, this 10th hole at the Brabazon is probably my favourite golf hole I've ever played. I absolutely love this little short par 4. 
I'm not long enough to drive that green in real life or on the sim, so it's just a layup on oh, each of those. Shot's looking good here. This is the hole that uh, Seve Ballesteros famously drove um, many moons yeah, ago. It looks like we have about 135 yards or so. Now my approach go. in real life, uh, this time round when I played it, I actually went a bit big into the bunker. Uh, but the first time I played it, I think I put two into that pond. Now, I think uh, my camera actually cuts out here. Um, Unfortunately, I was still recording on the sim on the computer, and I hit an awesome shot. I wish I'd have hit this shot in real life. Popping it to about eight feet, I think it was. For birdie. And Sweet. there I am digging with the bucket and spade. Downhill, nasty bunker, bunker shot lie. It's horrible. Uh, but the birdie putt was a little bit more successful. Um, yeah, like I said, if I could have Perfect. done this in real life, I would have been absolutely made up. A uh, different story in real life. I think I came away with a five eventually. But on this little three-course vlog, that birdie has made the scorecard a little bit nicer to look at, leaving me just a two over par after the three holes. And yeah, that's it. Uh, just the eighth, ninth and tenth holes at the Brabazon course at the Belfry over here in the UK. Um, like I say, I've got a couple of vlogs on my channel. Um, so I'll put links to those in the description of this video if you're interested in checking out how I performed as a 21 handicap golfer and also an 11 handicap golfer. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for tuning in again guys, I appreciate that. Uh, we're now over 1,000 subscribers strong on the channel which is amazing. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do head over to the page, click that subscribe button and there'll be some more golf simulator related content coming soon.